One of the main causes of air pollution in Beijing is automobile traffic. So perhaps it's not so surprising that, as our contributor Mark Dreyer found, bicycles are making a comeback. But they're not your run-of-the-mill cruisers. Bicycles used to be the only form of transport for ordinary citizens here in China, but now cars are king. In fact, in some cities, they've become so popular that they've had to institute either an auction or a lottery system to try and restrict the number of cars on the roads and improve traffic congestion that way. But bikes are coming back, probably because it's quicker to pedal around town than it is to sit in traffic for hours. And as people have more and more money, the trend is to buy upscale bicycles, a far cry from when the classic flying pigeon models used to fill the streets here. Some of these bicycles cost tens of thousands of dollars, much more expensive, of course, than actually buying a car. Alex Moulton bikes, named after the British engineer, are famous for their small wheel design and unique suspension and are handcrafted in the UK. They start at something over $1,500 and go up to well over $25,000, with prices even higher in China due to import costs. They've also inspired some Chinese models. Brompton Junction is another established British bike maker known for its folding design. The company opened its first concept store in China last year with a branch in Shanghai. Its bikes aren't quite as expensive as Moulton ones, but they still go for a couple of thousand dollars here. Other brands, including Ferrari and BMW, have also been getting in on the act, marketing high-end bicycles to what would previously have been car buyers. Online, people have been talking about these high-end bicycles on the forums and on social media. One person says, I can avoid traffic and more importantly, I can stay more healthy riding a bicycle. There is no reason for me not to do this. Another net user called Lin Chow 69 says, high-end bicycles will soon become a mainstream trend. These bicycles are only targeted at those with plenty of money, with many people commenting online that they can't even afford a cheap car let alone one of these snazzy bikes. But if the traffic is a reason to get on a bicycle, the worsening pollution is another reason to stay off them. Even though it doesn't look great, today is the first time Beijingers have seen the sun in days. Right now, the air quality index is showing slightly above 100, still polluted, but far below the reading of 700 from just a few days ago. But it's a bit of a vicious circle because the government needs to cut down on car emissions, but until they do, many residents will be scared off from biking around town. With their typical black humor, Chinese net users have been joking about this. One post pretends to sell canned air from Mount Fuji in Japan. The text reads, original imported one liter cans of compressed fresh air, selling for 10 yuan per breath or 100 yuan per can. 10% discount if you buy more than 10 cans. Final sale, no more bargaining, limited edition while stocks last. Elsewhere, people have been singing the praises of greener forms of transport, but lamenting how hard it is to use them. One person says, we need to give bicycles more respect. Only bicycles can save the city from pollution. While another person agrees, saying cars are in the bike lanes. Cars just drive around all over the bicycle lanes. Now, one solution to all of this is to wear a mask while you're outside. Either a simple one like this, which claims to screen out about 95% of all the particulate matter, or a more elaborate one that some cyclists wear. Given the recent spate of pollution, these masks have been selling like crazy on e-commerce sites like Taobao. It may not be perfect, but for many people, wearing a mask like this is the best solution they can find. For Link Asia, I'm Mark Dreyer in Beijing. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.